Okay, today's topic is areas and rectangles, which is 11.4 in our textbook. Now, when we're talking about area, uh, we mean the measurement inside the border of a two-dimensional shape. Um, and this measurement is always given in square units. So it needs to be centimetres squared or metres squared. Now, my computer program here hasn't written this properly, so it means centimetres squared or meters squared or could be kilometers squared something like that okay so it must be in square units so that's very important to remember a common mistake is to forget writing that square units there all right now the formula for area is different depending on the shape so um, for a rectangle the area of a rectangle is length times width. Um, so we've got length is, and then times width. Uh, the area of a square is side times side because each of the sides have the same length. So it's just one side times the other side. Um, another way of writing that is side squared, which means side multiplied by side. Okay, so just remembering that the area is the amount we're measuring inside the border of the shape here um, whereas perimeter is just the like the fence on the outside so that's the difference all right let's do some examples you really need to make sure you remember the um, formulas and you must write your formulas down in your working out as the very first line okay so I'll give you some examples of what you need to do it would be a good idea for you if you wanted to practice to pause the video now and see if you can find the area of these shapes without me showing you. Um, otherwise, if you're not quite sure what to do, then I will show you now. But otherwise, pause the video and have a go yourself first. All right, now the first shape is a square. So the area of a square equals side times side so we must write the formula down first so we can see the one side is 2.5 centimeters and every side will be 2.5 centimeters so just multiply by 2.5 so side times side 2.5 times 2.5 is 6.25 centimeters now don't forget it's squared centimeters so 6.25 centimeters squared all right now we've got the rectangle here so the area of a rectangle I just like to draw do the little pictures there area of a rectangle it was length times width all right so that would equal 11 millimeters times two Oop. millimeters and that's 22 millimeters squared all right pretty easy you can do it all right now I've got an exam another example for on this page now this is a little bit different a bit of a reasoning question for you so what I want you to do is see if you can figure out the area of this shape if the perimeter is 44 centimeters so please note so you know the perimeter so perimeter is the outside of the shape so the perimeter is 44 centimeters but what does that mean the area is I'll give you a clue you have to work out obviously what each side would um, equal by working out the individual per side perimeter then you can work out the area. So just pause the video and have a go at that yourself. Alright, so first of all we need to basically work backwards to find out the perimeter. So the perimeter equals is 44 centimeters 44 centimeters divided by 4 because when we work out the perimeter we just add up each side here. So we'll need to divide that by 4. So the perimeter equals, 
So 44 divided by 4 is 11 centimeters. So that means that each side would be 11 centimeters. Now we can work out the area. So the area of a square equals side times side. And we know now that the side is 11 centimeters. So it's 11 times 11 equals 121 centimeters squared. All right, so please note, when you're working with a perimeter, it's just 11 centimeters each side. is That's the measurement for each side. But when we're working with area, um, we write the answer in square units, so centimeters squared. All right, so go ahead and work on your textbook questions.